is what we have here. Maybe. They're see. This is what a sub team should do. Honestly, <laughs> they should be to persistently invade this blue buff. It's like, would you like to help Latman or get your blue buff? How about no? Oh, he's oh. gonna cook him down. He will plagues on. It's the last bit of damage. They both flash it. Wow, Seraph gets a one v one on. Hot Split damn. seconds. All right, we got a fight in the mid lane though. Bjergsen gets hit up immediately. Chrono break back. He gets about. 20% of his HP back, not doing too bad for himself, and they are going to lock things down now. Bishu gets crushed down. Santorum picks up one there for himself, and they find already, so Dragon has to come with this, whether they get the kills or not. And it doesn't look like Smoothie's gonna make it out alive. Latman tries to flash and Valkyrie to one side. Turrets on to Santorum, no trouble there. And Team Solo made TSM made a 40 minute mistake in a team fight against Team Vigatos. Would not want to make one here. Oh. Look at that. I like what Bjergsen did there, but he actually put himself closer to Kez on accident. He gets the hit over onto Bishu. Bjergsen gets out alive. I don't have all the farm in the world to himself anymore. Oh, parallel convergence over on a smoothie. He may be a Malphite, but he is a support Malphite. Timewinder on the way back does the majority of damage. Now Santorin gets the majority of Bishu's ult with the Kag on the other side. And Bjergsen getting out full HP. They're kind of just looking right now at a smoothie with low HP. He gets out. A very oh. nice equalizer actually on the team coming through. TSM still wants this. It seems like it was a bit hesitated though. Seraph making a transfuse kill here. Chrono break by Bjergsen, but he puts himself in a bad spot while being able to get a kill. And it's Whoa, Seraph, Seraph now starting to pick up kills. Dyrus a few more for himself. Kez can't figure out if he does want to. Sam definitely has the Ward War 1 at this point. There's another flash. Dyrus also with the fast fingers this game. That's a huge ultimate. For one member they tried to use there, knowing the equalizer would actually win the dragon fight. It now is the thing pushing them away from the dragon fight. They're on to Seraph. He gets a good Hemo Plague down, but there's no follow-up damage, so they're not going to be able to do much. Wild Turtle flashes over the wall to start this one off. That's going to be the Parallel Conversion Shield also on to Bjergsen as he goes for Bishu. He'll get out a lot. Pretty good poke that's come out from Bjergsen's echo. Oh, well, there he goes, though. The echo ultimate actually right on the team. He's not going to be able to use it anymore for damage. There's a kill going on to Wild Turtle immediately. He even used the summoner heal there for the team. That is Bishu going down. Lampman on the outside, ready to hit some damage. Lust Boy is on the top charging. He can't really come back in yet. They're missing a lot of DPS here, and Lampman's still able to fire out with Seraph in the middle of the fight. They push Team Solo mid off of this one after TS. I have a Santorin. Uh oh. There's that killer instinct chat right on the lap man, but do they go too far? Kez gets locked up as well. Whoa, Bjergsen goes so far in. The next phase dive flash actually to get the kill. Is it worth And maybe they're at risk if that brush got blind, ulted. Ooh, Kez face checks. Oh, the outer layer of fat almost keeps him alive, but they crisp it up. Wild Turtle comes up with that kill along with Dyrus helping him out. He gets the full hit from Bishu on that last breath. One last hit, and he's going to sweeping blade right through to getting his Lich Bane done. Oh, he's in a bad spot. Oh, he's in a very bad spot. You can't echo out of that if you don't hit the ground. 33 minutes in here. Seraph would have to teleport in afterwards. Missed initiation. It hit that the channel got off. Latman actually took Bjergsen's initial in. damage from that. Bjergsen goes hard. Lich Bane's able to crush down onto Latman there. Four of the Rex side had come in, and that led up to a big play from Bjergsen, who's now trying to make an even bigger one. Oh, dog, you're not that powerful. Zanyas goes off. Can they get over the wall? Here comes the equalizer. They lay oh. out the red carpet for Kaz, and Bishu's going to be in the fight as well. The Zanyas goes down. So does health right now. Yeah. And there's a fight. They Ooh, got Wild the Turtle. Oh and Bishu actually gets that as well. He gets right into the middle. Goes back in on to Wild Turtle. Crushes him down. We're now watching Seraph take down Wild Turtle as well. Uh, these guys are just making it happen. Bishu looks for Bjergsen. He gets him. Santorin now is doing what he can as they claw through. And even though TD... They do not want to have that happen. Flies right in. Bjergsen instantly hits the Zanya. He's going to be able to Chrono Break back. And he kills that man with the Chrono Break. Right on to Seraph now. Bjergsen could go down. Seraph actually can't get any more transfusions out to hit him. Actually, he gets him with the Hemo Plague as well. We talked about that earlier. And Seraph finally hits the deck. They're going to start hitting the Nexus turrets on the side of Team Solomid. TDK's base now in shambles. It took quite a while. 47 minutes for TSM to finally get to the Nexus. But they are able to pick up a win. Now going 4-2. and two.